Um, the next example that, uh, that we wanted to, to bring up is, is there's been so much new technology being developed around the ability or for the ability to digitize the world. But one of the challenges that we, that we have is, is how do we communicate to our customers, how do we help our customers to get the most from this different technology to do this digitalization process. So we have some ideas that we're, that we're following up in NAFTA that's being led by Chuck. And I wanted to Chuck to describe a little bit of how we're helping address this, this tremendous amount of technology coming over the past. Thanks, Ken. So uh, in 2016, what we did is we, we restructured our team so that we could start to communicate with the customers uh, centered around all of the technologies that, that provide 3D capture, that do reality capture type sequencing, whether it's point clouds or, uh, or terrestrial clouds or mobile clouds or, or uh, even a total station that, a lot, that does scanning. Uh, we tried to build the teams around this approach so that when they were with customers, they could understand the, the customer's need and what the optimum technology would be for that specific use. And, and this allows us to, to really integrate with the customers and, and instead of being a technology focused, really an application focused on how the customers are, are collecting the information, what the information is being used for, and then which technologies work best to solve that, that particular problem. Chuck, can you elaborate on some of the different use cases? I think an interesting one for us is because of the announcement here at the conference is now some of the, the underground scanning that we can do. How do you see underground scanning work with terrestrial scanning or even airborne scanning with the UAVs? It's a great, a great, great example. Uh, one of the one of the thing, one of the products that's been released here is is our stream, our new, our new stream product, which is a combination of the mobile lidar as well as the underground underground ground penetrating radar. And the combination of those two, right, develop a complete solution so the customers actually get above ground terrestrial information and positioning along with the underground uh, assets and, and their locations, uh, which bring all that together. And, and there's some, some real life uses of that being done in different, different parts of the world. We see that digitizing solutions now of mass data. We have that in the UAVs, we have that in the aerial LIDAR, terrestrial scanning. The robotic total stations now are doing that. Yeah. Of course, the underground and the bathymetric types of solutions as well. So again, this data has got to be all mashed together and, and produced into a final type of deliverable. We're not seeing many people anymore use just one specific technology to collect data. They're using multiple forms, really whichever, whichever piece of technology works best for that solution. Uh, so it's important that if they can be able to transition their total station over to their LIDAR and their LIDAR over to their mobile kit and their mobile kit down to their ground penetrating radar. So one of our focuses is to really try to smooth that transition for the customers so that they're not talking to five or six different people, they're not look, looking at five or, six, uh, five or six different ways of doing things. It's all really tied together to, to help them get a complete solution at whatever that technology might be. So.